Well, I'm here on the Silver Comet Trail, surrounded by kudzu, and there's a building with beautiful bathrooms in it, which I will not go in to see, and there's a warehouse across the Silver Comet Trail, and there's loads and loads of kudzu, which I won't get any of this because it looks like it's been poisoned. Um, so I wrote this book, Fertile Prayers, Daily Fertile Prayers, in 2001 to 2003, and then it took me six, no, it took me <clears throat> quite a bit of time to edit it during those three years after I wrote it. And um, this came out of Lancaster Public Library in 2008. So I think that this is another library book and I found it for $15 because the librarian did not check to see if it was out of print because Amazon has been selling them for $800. So this was published by me in 2003 and all rights are reserved. No part of this book may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system or transmitted by any means, electronic, mechanical, photocopying, recording, or otherwise without written permission from the author. Well, I'm the author, so I can do this. I've started the prayer book with three floating holidays. Every day is Mother's Day, Father's Day, and Easter for someone. Mother's Day, this is the hardest day for a woman who has lost a baby. I am one of the women who have lost a baby. I used to tough it out and go to church on Mother's Day, but the pastor would ask all mothers to stand. The first time I stood up proudly for the child I had lost, when I sat down, the feelings of loss flooded me. I had to leave because I started sobbing. I was not alone because a friend lost her mother recently and her tears poured. There are women who would not go to church on Mother's Day because the celebration was so bittersweet some because they lost their mother, some because they lost a child, and some because they couldn't get pregnant are affected. I guess there are some women who have lost everything. I didn't mention miscarriage in this right here, but miscarriage is in the book. God has a whole world in his hands. We can go to church on Mother's Day. We can face the pain of our loss. We can also stay at home and be kind to ourselves. We can choose to be happy on Mother's Day. We can choose to remember our riches on Mother's Day. Our children will be with us one day. Every day can feel a little like Mother's Day. It can be good. So this is just a preface. There's no prayer there. And Father's Day. There's no prayer for that either, but I'm gonna read this page because these are the floating days. These are the times when, um, you, you don't know what day Father's Day will be uh, because it's, sometimes it's, it's, you know, in the middle of the month and sometimes it's on a weekend. And so anyway, Father's Day. This is the hardest day for a man who has lost a child. Men have come up to me telling me about how hard it is to lose the hope of a child's life. There will be no church service naming and celebrating the child and no games outside. It is tough being the only man on the street with no one to teach basketball and no one to teach pitching or building, golf, etc. It is hard to see what the fuss is about sometimes, about having children, but there is a feeling of missing out. There is a belief, I would have been a good father, haunting me. Help me prepare for what comes my way. I hope it is a challenge of parenting. Every day seems like Father's Day in some ways. It can be good.